Good morning, everyone. You are watching Barnstable this morning. I'm Sarah Colvin, and joining me on the phone, I welcome the Assistant Director of Senior Services here in Barnstable, Donna Marie Burns. Donna, good morning. Good morning. It's so nice to speak with you, Sarah. Thank you. Nice to have you back on the show. So very excited about some events coming up, uh, namely the St. Patrick's Day Luncheon. It is, of course, March. It's, it's a big event. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you've got planned over there at the Senior Center. It is a big event here at the Senior Center, and I think one of the favorites for the folks that do come to the center, this year we have a St. Patrick's Day luncheon. It will be held next week, March 13th, from 1 to 3 p.m. It's $12. This is sponsored by our friends group, the Friends of the Barnstable Council on Aging, and we will have a delicious homemade corned beef and cabbage dinner with all the trimmings made by our very own uh, chef, Judy Red, and we have a special dessert. We will also have entertainment that will be provided by Sean Murphy and friends of his. Now, Sean's a very well-known ent Irish entertainer here on the Cape, and he's performed for us for many years, and he's always a highlight of the celebration. So I hope that people are able to to come out and join us, I guarantee they'll have a delicious lunch, some great uh, entertainment, and have a wonderful time. And a great way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, of course. And again, that's taking place uh, next uh, March 13th uh, from 1 to 3 at the Senior Center. Donna, do you recommend people getting tickets in advance? Is that something they can do while online or by stopping by the Senior Center? I absolutely do recommend. I wouldn't want to see someone be disappointed because it's sold out. Unfortunately, this is not an event that you can register online for because it is sponsored by our friends. But you are able to pay here at the Senior Center. If you can stop by, and uh, we'll give you a ticket. And I guarantee you won't regret it. It'll be a super time and a great luncheon. Great. Well, th Donna, thank you for that. I um, want to talk a, a little bit about some of the outreach programs you have. Uh, fuel assistance, we'll start with that, of course. Uh, it has been a very cold winter, and I'm sure many of us uh, have really high heating bills uh, this winter. Certainly um, on a normal winter, is sometimes tough uh, to pay. Talk to me a little bit about the fuel assistance program and if we're coming up on any deadlines for that. Well, you are spot on. It has been a brutal winter, and I think, you know, I don't have to, everyone knows what the price of fuel is now, and it's a real hardship for a lot of people being able to come up with the funds for, uh, you know, to pay for that. And, of course, we need it with the sub-zero temperatures that we've been experiencing experiencing even here on the Cape. And I just want people to know that you can still apply for help with the heating bill right through April 2014. So if you live alone and your income's less than $32,065, or if you have a household of two and your combined income is less than $41,932, you would be eligible for assistance. And our outreach workers, Claudia or Judy, would be very happy to help you uh, navigate the paperwork. It's a government program, so there always is a, um, an issue with having to fill out some paperwork, but we'd be happy to help you. And I do encourage you, I hate the thought of, of someone missing out um, on the opportunity to get some assistance for this. Absolutely. And so if, if people do want to uh, learn more about this program or have, perhaps uh, get assistance, the best thing probably just to start with a phone call to the Senior Center? Absolutely. Please give us a call at 508-862-4750, and we will get you through to the right people that can help you out. And if uh, you're a senior that's an emergency situation with their fuel, give us a call as well, and we'll see what we can do to help you. Great. Donna, talk to me about real estate tax assistance. Um, to, tell me a little bit about what this program does and how people can access uh, this assistance. Well, I another program that I would hate to see someone miss out on. Uh, there's a program uh, called the 41C Elder Assistance Program. It's a town tax deferral program, and it's something if you've applied for it in the past and received it, you're probably still eligible, but it is something you have to apply for every single year. And I know for so many, in particular, seniors who are on fixed incomes, you know, any additional expenses can be a true hardship. So you are able to apply for assistance 
through March of this year. And I, again, I wouldn't want to see someone miss out on the opportunity to receive that type of valuable assistance. So again, call us here. Great. Um, let's talk a little bit about the brown bag program, uh, Donna. This is a great program that helps uh, you know stretch your grocery budget a little bit. How does this brown bag program work? Well, this is a great program, as you said, Sarah, to help you with your food budget. Um, this is actually free, healthy food. And this program consists of a free bag of groceries once a month. And this bag has basic healthy food, which could range from soup to cereal, meat to vegetables, and even an occasional treat. It's really a nice uh, bag of food. And it can help someone who's on a limited uh, income really stretch the dollars. There's a simple form that you need to fill out to receive uh, the groceries. Then all you have to do is to come by the senior center on the designated day, which is the first uh, Friday of each month, to pick up the bag. If you're not able to, we do make some deliveries. Our, we have a great group of volunteers who help to bag the food, and they will deliver it to, um, I know that they go to many of the housing complexes in the area, and to individual homes if there's a situation that someone just isn't able to get out. We don't want that to be a barrier for you um, missing out on receiving this. And I'll let you know, if you do get fuel assistance, you'll definitely be eligible for the brown bag program. Great. And again, as you say, a simple form uh, to fill out. There's uh, income requirements, and I would assume that you do have to be a resident of the town of Barnstable to, uh, to qualify for this plan. Yes, because it's run through our, um, through our senior center. We do, um, that is something we offer to residents of Barnstable. That is correct. Great. And, and then maybe for, for some seniors who require a little bit more assistance and who perhaps uh, aren't mobile anymore, I can't get out of the house, so you have a great Meals on Wheels program, which that delivers meals daily uh, to our homebound seniors. So talk to me about Meals on Wheels. Well, Meals on Wheels is a wonderful program. It's actually a federal program that is run by Elder Services of Cape Cod and the Islands, and we are their access point here on the Mid-Cape. We're actually the largest Meals on Wheels site for the Elder Services of the Cape and Islands, and there are over 140 volunteer drivers who come here to the site and pick up the food, which is delivered daily here, and they deliver it to all of the folks uh, that qualify for the program and are in need of um, some nutritional assistance. And that actually even includes the weekend, Sarah. Um, they do package up extra food on uh, Friday. It all goes out in coolers. And, and I will tell you, for many of, these, many of the folks that receive the food, they live alone and they don't get a lot of company. And the highlight of their day is having these wonderful volunteers that they come and see them every day and check in on them and have a nice conversation. And I would definitely encourage anyone um, to to give us a call. We can explain more about the program. There is um, some paperwork because it is a federal program that needs to be filled out. But we can give you um, the numbers that you need to call and, and help you go through the process. Great. Um, and Donna, of course, uh, you wouldn't be able to do those programs through the Senior Center without volunteers. Are you currently uh, looking for, are you in need of any volunteers, uh, either for Meals on Wheels or for the Brown Bag, or really any of the other programs that, that you run out of the Senior Center? We are always happy to have volunteers. And if anyone has an interest in being involved with any of those programs or actually being uh, a volunteer here at the Senior Center, I would be happy to talk to them. And I would say if you're, if you're newly retired and you're finding that you have some time on your hands, they're, they're not only at the Senior Center, there are many volunteer opportunities here on the Cape, many organizations such as ours that could really use your help. And it's a great way to meet people, to keep busy, and to, um, you know, make valuable use of your time. And it feels great when you do something for someone else. Absolutely. Well, Donna, I thank you so much uh, for joining us today. Always a pleasure to talk with you. And uh, we'll probably see you next week at the St. Patrick's Day Lunch. I hope we see you there. Thank, thank you, you so much. So much. Have a Take great day. Care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Donna Burns, of course, uh, is the Assistant Director of Senior Services for the Town of Barnstable. For Barnstable This Morning, I'm Sarah Colvin.